Hello, world! Dave here, you may call me Modan Joe. Welcome back to Let's Play Penny Arcades on Rain Select Precipice of Darkness 4. Dear God. Been a few days. A little distracted, and I could have sworn we fought these hat spiders before, but that might have actually been in a different game. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's possible that the references are just the references are just getting crossed at like there's like various bad streams. But either way, we can deal with these guys. So uh, it's been a few days, I'll admit. My mind's a little fried. Not sure what what has and has not been done. But uh, I will make do. I will. I can survive. I will survive. Doesn't matter how long you live, or I, I, I don't even remember the lyrics for that song. Why am I even trying? But, uh, I, hell, to be honest, I only know that song because of Cake's cover. But, uh, well, well, so far these guys aren't really particularly threatening, I'd say. So, uh, let's just, uh, go all out with our bi best attacks and should make do. Nice interrupter, I have to say. All, all we really need is just a couple of small hits, and I think we'll be fine here, so, uh, why don't we... Well, might as well throw Molotov, so I have a feeling these guys are weak to fire, so let's just, uh, Molotov, Molotov, Skydive, and, oh, that's not enough to kill? Huh. Well, then, a spray is required. I seriously was expecting these guys to be weak to fire, because bugs. They love that they are attracted to flame, but once they get anywhere near it, they realize, oh shit, that was a stupid mistake. But we'll make do. And overall, these guys really weren't that weren't that tough to begin with. I don't know why the battles in the last episode went so long. Oh. You're looking for a uh, pet spider, huh? Oh, and... <laughs> Arachnopolis. Lovely. So let me guess, this spider used to actually carry around your whole thing. All your stuff. The entire damn tower. Damn it, Hestia. Between this and the fact that you're... Between this and... I'm sure you're thousands of servant boys that had several heads of various types. It's just... Bleh. Anyway, let's just get our defenses up, and uh, and I'm sure just a few basic beatings should be enough here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just uh, just punch him in, and I think we'll be mostly on course. To just have a nice, strong set of damage going here. Ah, okay. So this guy summons. This guy summons hat spiders, and I lack any decent area of effect magic, but whatever. Uh, I think we can make do with uh, what we have here. Uh, I could probably... Hmm. I could stun him. Nah, he's too far off. Might as well just Dark Blast. A, uh... Get Cauterize going. And I guess... Really don't see anyone that needs any particular healing right now, because, well, he used his first turn to summon, so... Oh, wow, weak to darkness. Not something I expect from spiders. Oh, well, uh... I think maybe we kill one of the hat spiders just to kind of, uh... make things a little easier on us. Ow. Wait a second. Where's our mate? Oh, yeah, there's some deep crow going. And, uh... Well, with that little bit done, I think, uh... Just... Hmm. Well, a quick drain there, and a quick... I think everyone is mostly fine as far as damage goes, so... Quick drain there. Just kill that, and, uh... Perforate the, uh... Arachno Arachnopolis, and... Should be, a Enough to kind of slow things down for a bit. Just a bit. And maybe have Vendor spend a turn restocking. Not that he needed it, 
but, you know, it's there. So let's see here. Yeah, Goom has probably should just not even bother with uh, doing anything other than just, uh, other than just beating in. Let's get... Might want to have, uh, might want to have, uh, Gumez get, take a little hug, and then... Actually, what I meant to do was be economics, not perforate, but perforate's not that bad. It's certainly a very strong debuff. I don't see anything wrong with using perforate. I just wanted to get the stacked poison bleeding going there, so... And with that going, might as well keep, uh, might as well start it hitting them hard and fast. Just like... No, that that's too easy. That's too easy. But, uh... One he Seriously, Dark Blast is gonna be all that we need against him. And then, once that, uh, I guess Power-Up Dive Bomb should be enough to kill? Or we could just uh, throw a Molotov. Yeah, let's start actually using the Molotovs now. And... One hug on Gumez. Another, guess, just regular physical attack to kind of, and then power up, dive bomb, and then we just also throw a dispenser, so do a little soda spray. Easy peasy. And fusion learns hug everybody. Ooh, wow. That sounds nice. Especially considering that at her hugs are already probably our best healing. Hug everyone sounds really nice. Scorn Strike, though, for Hestia, that sounds real nice. So, hug everybody, I can only imagine. Yeah, let's heal all allies. Not bad. And, uh, Scorn Strike. Heavy attack based on defense. Hmm. Intriguing. So, that would probably be... So, I guess it's actually a good thing that I went and threw this on, uh... Through... Let me see, who... Who's equipped with what? Okay, yeah, so everyone except for Gabe is... Except for Mr. Beaks is equipped with, uh... Is using as Hesty as their trainer. Although, Gabe could probably... Although, Gabe honestly probably could be better off, uh... I really want to switch, uh... Gumez's trainer to Gabe since Hestia... I mean, the stat bon bonuses are there. I mean, strength, magic, speed. <laughs> nice. But... Hmm. I don't know. I've, well, maybe Gabe will have something. I mean, I... Well, maybe Gabe will have something other than just a passive in the future. I mean... I mean, st extra strength on turn one is nice. I'll give him that much. And one MP after killing with a regular attack can really speed up those bigger hits. As well as the backswing bit. Although, mostly I'm just using his uh, regular attacks for poison, to be honest. It is a nice bonus, I'll say. So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I guess uh, Scorn Strike will large largely be massively damaging on uh, on Vendor and uh, Fuchsia there. That'll be nice. So, where's that spider friend of yours, Hestia? I mean, we can always use more monsters. We can also jump off the edge of the world, but, but eh, whatever. Hmm. Oh, that looks like a wall. I was reclining a bit, and that didn't look like a wall to me for some reason. Ah, I finally we crawled out of this under, under hell. So, now where are we, though? That's a real question. Proportional to the tower that we're looking for. You have no idea. Beauty! Well, we crawled out of one cave. And thankfully, there's no random encounters on the world map. I think we're fine? Actually, this looks familiar. We could go to the left and then explore another cave. Probably what they want us to do is go down, so I say we should explore that cave. It's probably going to be a quick cave anyway. Not much, like maybe a few monsters and... Probably a little bit of treasure? Can't use items except potions. Well, uh, Vendor, I have to say... Actually, no, Scorn Strike is probably going to be his big big damaging blows here. So, uh, let's just uh, get started with the... 
with good old power up dive bomb and uh, you go ahead and poison one of these suckers as well as we have our have our team just use their basic attacks for the have our support characters use their basic attacks because scorn strike is gonna pack wallops i think so let's see here and uh a dark blast should well I actually let's smother to fit to finish this guy off a skydive to on the other one and we just scorn strike the last two hopefully that's all we need but if not Yeah, Scorn Strike didn't do as much damage as I was expecting. But yeah, those trolls were easy. And so much treasure in this cave. Oh my god. Huh. Nothing. This chest has already been looted. And then again, trolls open up the cave, so... I guess that's a tongue-in-cheek way of saying so. Ooh, King Troll. Well, we can do with another boss fight. Why not? My question is, what's beyond here? Yeah, Troll Chief, and, uh, still can only use potions. Uh, so, with that in mind, maybe switch out a vendor for Screen Cone. Probably not... Ooh, wow, he's got a lot of defense here. And I'm still curious, well... And, uh, we'll make do with what we have here. This should be enough. I don't know what, uh what equipment Scream Cone has nowadays, so this might actually be a little bit difficult, but let's see. Clutch Call, a uh, little poison, just a basic attack, I guess should be enough. I actually could probably have a uh, Fuchsia Defend, honestly. And I don't even know what skills he has. Okay, Flavor Wave, that's cute. Ice Cream Jingle, cute. Ice Shards, cute. Really cute stuff here. Oh, he's Gabe's his thing. Eh. I have a feeling that that is actually going to be detrimental slightly. But uh, well, let's just uh, use the ice cream. Let's just use the ice cream jingle. Make sure that ever that uh, the next few turns go largely unimpeded. Should be fine, I think. And uh, a good dark blast should be enough. A uh, we got. Let's get uh, Cauterize running. Let's hug everybody. Actually, now the Troll King is pretty slow. I think we can probably just do a hug, have Fuchsia hug herself, maybe? Yeah, have Fuchsia hug herself. Actually, no, just Stamina should be enough. There we go, and now we guess probably start hugging everybody, but for now, Icicle, Ice Shards... I forget what his specialty was. I haven't used Screen Cone in forever. But I guess we'll just Ice Shards for now, and, uh... Guess Power Up... Uh, power Up's gonna be a waste, since it's only physical physical damage that gets boosts. And, uh... A good hug, everybody, and uh, go start with the old Power Up Dive Bomb. I think uh, the Troll Chi should be easy enough to take down. Well... I guess we really don't need to worry about hugging everybody, considering that, you know, the Ice Cream Jingle is doing its magic, making sure that only Scream Cone is taking damage. And then I guess a Dark Blast, a little... I guess a Focused Hug on the Scream Cone. And good old Dive Bomb. Bye-bye, Troll King. Well, actually, he wasn't quite king. Huh. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Are you guys reusing assets from Cthulhu Saves the World? That's the tomb for... That was the tomb that, uh... What's... That, the uh, The guy from Breath of Death 7 had. Undeath Charm. Whenever you revive, gain 1 MP. Hmm, nice. So I guess that is a suitable reference to uh, Breath of Death 7. Yeah, like I said, they use that in Cthulhu Saves the World for the tomb for the guy, the hero of Breath of Death 7, even though, logically, if you paid attention to the plot of that game, 
that guy doesn't exist. Time travel. That it's a very wibbly wobbly, tiny wimey ball thing. Don't worry about it. Uh, so I'm guessing we're going to be traveling through a very deep, dark forest next. So I guess this is as good a time to end the episode as any. Until next time, everyone. I'm Dave. Take care.